Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is finally going to be a new empties video and this is very needed. I did not get to do one last month and I have a very full little trash can here. So if you'd like to see some of the products that I've used up recently, I also did a little mini declutter like I normally do with my empties videos. So I kind of went on a roll within my office so I have some decluttered items in here too, but why don't we go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so first up I have a sheet mask. This is from Bliss. This is their holographic foil sheet mask, the detoxifier. It says it purifies with charcoal powder. Uh, so I tried this one out recently. I had an Instagram video with it. It was kind of fun because, I mean, it looks like kind of like tin foil on your face. Uh, and I remember there was a couple of comments in there like I was scrolling through Instagram and I thought you were putting foil on your face. Like, what are you doing? Uh, the side that you actually lay down on your skin was black. That was like the charcoal mask part. And then the outer part is more of that like tin foil, you know, holographic vibes. It also has like cute star cutouts around the eyes, which I thought was neat. Uh, but that was my first time trying a bliss sheet mask. Uh, and then I also here I have from Pageology. This is one of the rejuvenating eye gels. I used these a lot recently uh, because I've been noticing some dryness on my under eyes as we get into colder weather here. I am like so bundled up. We have snow in the forecast today. Okay. I'm not playing around. I put my big sweater on and I got my big socks on and I'm very upset right now. Let's not talk about it, okay? I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Also in here I have from Soap and Glory, this is the Righteous Body Butter. I scraped and scraped and scraped at this thing because I love this body butter so much. I believe that you can find Soap and Glory at Ulta and I think they're at like Walgreens also. If I didn't have two more bottles of lotion like already lined up ready to go, I would definitely go and repurchase this one because it's so nice. It's really thick. It's definitely super hydrating, nice and moisturizing. It smells really good too without being like overly scented if that makes any sense. This stuff is really nice. I really enjoyed it and I want it like every little last bit out. I did also use up some facial wipes. So these are from Beauty360. They're a brand that's sold at CVS and they often have like buy two get one free or something like that. So um, there's 25 in here. I honestly just use these to remove makeup swatches. And that's it so nothing real crazy but they're more affordable because I kept finding myself like buying the Neutrogena wipes but I was continually only using them to remove swatches and I was like why am I paying so much money to do this like do something less expensive so if you're someone who just uses facial wipes for removing swatches and such just look at like the drugstore brands because as long as it removes it from your hand like it's all good Okay, so I also had to say goodbye to a pair of lashes these are from Love Locks Love Lock Cosmetics these are the Love and Lust Lashes. Uh, I took these to Vegas with me and I actually took them off one night when I was there and I put them in my clutch and then I forgot about them and so they're not, they were not in great shape. Luckily I had worn them several times and I wore them almost every night out that we were in Vegas. So it was all good, like I wore them plenty of times but I just completely forgot that I put them in my clutch and then by the time I pulled them out when I got home I was like, ooh. These do not look great. So I had to say goodbye to a pair of lashes, but they have some really good lashes. Love Lock Cosmetics. Um, I will link their website down below. I'll try to link as much as I can. Sometimes with empties, I can't link everything like I normally would because you only have so much space in your description box. But if things are like available and if I really like them and would recommend them, I will link them down below. Okay, so also I have a perfume that I'm just saying goodbye to because this is just stupid. So this is a Chloe perfume and if you can see that I have nearly a full jar left, I have had this perfume for like six years. And every time, because I moved with it, when we bought this house and we moved into it five and a half years ago, I took this perfume with me. It was a gift. It was one of my first like higher end perfumes. So I just felt really awesome about it and having it and it was like on display for the longest time, but I don't love the scent. So I like never wore it and um, that's embarrassing. So I've had that for several years. So I'm finally just gonna go ahead and say goodbye because like that's ridiculous. Uh, I'm also saying goodbye to this one even though I still have quite a bit of product left but I just, I don't even think this is good anymore. This is from Bosha. It's the Charcoal Pore Pudding Intensive Wash Off Treatment. So it looks like this. You can see I still have a lot of product left but this has been basically unused. I bought this because people started hyping it up like several years ago on YouTube. So I purchased it in one of the Sephora VIB sales and I liked it. I did, but it was so messy and I would use it in my shower, but then I'd find myself having to like try to clean my shower walls because it was just so messy. Uh, and I've just found other treatments that I prefer more 
and I don't, yeah, I just, I can't remember the last time I used it, but then I was like, get this out of your shower. Like, you're being ridiculous. Okay, so, so I have more, so, 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 I have more of the uh, Flash Patch uh, eye gels. Like I said, I'm really needing it right now. Um, also from Patchology, I have the Illuminate Sheet Mask, which I really enjoy. I use a lot of sheet masks. I try to only put like one of each in my empties videos, um, just because otherwise it gets like really repetitive. Ooh, I really did like these eye masks. These were from Wander Beauty. These were the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I was wearing them at the beginning of my Try to Get Ready With Me video when I was talking about my Gen Beauty experience, and I got these uh, in my, like, um, the, the bag that you get when you go to Gen Beauty, like a goodie bag comes with your ticket. These were in there, and I really liked them. They were really hydrating. Uh, so those were really good from Wander Beauty. Okay, so I see some items that I have decluttered. This is from Nude Sticks. This is the Nudies Tinted Blur Stick. I have two of them in here that I was trying out. I tried these out a long time ago and I reviewed them and I said I just didn't like them. I think I tried them out in like a first impression style video and I was like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna like these. And then I kept trying them and I was like, no, I definitely don't. You were supposed to wear, okay, here it says it right here. A tinted sheer coverage, lightweight, all over face stick that blurs texture to have a natural naturally smooth hashtag no filter skin so you're supposed to wear it under your foundation or you could just wear it by itself and it's supposed to be like smoothing for your skin basically kind of like a primer but I didn't I didn't like it at all I felt like it did really funny things when I wore it under a foundation like it, it would separate my foundation a lot and I just I did not love these but still for some reason I just continually kept them around I don't know why I do that but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter those two that I had I also have this little eyeshadow palette here from Almay. This is their 210 Unplugged Eyeshadow Palette. It just looks like this. I believe I also reviewed these within the past um, couple of months here also, and I just really didn't get much out of these little quads from Almay. They really didn't do anything on my eyes. Like, I couldn't really tell that I was wearing eyeshadow. Like, when I first applied them, I felt like I could, and then, like, 15 minutes later, I was like, did you put eyeshadow on? Can't remember, so... I'm gonna declutter that one. Uh, I'm also, let's see. Okay, so this one, yes, I'm also getting this one out of my collection. This is from Juice Beauty. It's the Green Apple Peel Full Strength. I probably have a few uses left on this. I tried out a bunch of products from Juice Beauty once, like I bought a set and I really didn't like any, really didn't like anything. This was like my favorite thing from the collection, but also it's a little much for my sensitive skin. And so I found myself like it just kept getting pushed back further in the drawer and further in the drawer, especially when I started trying Drunk Elephant and I felt like their treatments were working so much better and I use the baby facial every single week. So that one has not been used very often, so I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to that one. Uh, I did go through, this is from, this is the Birch Juice Hydro Sleeping Mask from E Nature. I think is what it is. It's just a little sample size. I think this came in like a subscription bag or something like that. I actually really did like this though. I think it must have come in an Ipsy because sometimes with Ipsy, I don't know like how to repurchase items except for like through the Ipsy website, but they're not things that you can get or brands that you get like really, they're not super accessible, you know? But I actually really did enjoy this one. I took a traveling with me quite a bit. It was like my go-to like sleeping cream to put into my travel bags. It was nice and lightweight. It had kind of like that gel moisturizer consistency, but I like that one. Okay, so I have a sheet mask here from, oop, I dropped one. Oop. I have a sheet mask here from BioBell. This is the hashtag I woke up like this. I really do like BioBell sheet mask. I think I've used almost all of them up. I had like a really huge stack at one time and I've just been making my, making my way through them. You can find those at Ulta, but I really do like them. Uh, some more lashes. Oh, I have a couple of lashes. I clearly went through my lash drawer. These are from Morphe. These are in Flirt Alert. I just didn't love these lashes. I felt like they didn't, like the band wasn't, uh, it didn't have a great curve on it. No matter how much I tried to like wrap it around my finger, when I would put it on, it was like it wanted to go stick straight across my eyes and I just could not blend it with my natural lashes. So I'm just going to get rid of those. These are from Pure. These are the Trend Setter lashes. These were just old and needed to be tossed. Um, but I do really enjoy pure lashes. I also have a pair from Blinking Beauté. These are in Coquette. Again, these are just really old and basically cannot be worn on my eyes anymore. So I'm getting rid of those. I did like the Blinking Beauté lashes, but they're really expensive. So I haven't, I did repurchase one pair, but I haven't repurchased anything since then. 
Uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I still have a lot left, so I'm probably just gonna pass this on to like a friend or something who needs it um, because there's still a lot left in here, but I just never reach for this one because there's so many other sprays that I just use so much more. I bought this when everybody was raving about it on YouTube. I mean, there was a time where like you could not, everybody was using the Mario Badescu rose water spray in their video, so I had to buy it, but I liked it. I just don't use it too much. Oh, I have another one of the nude sticks, nudies stick thing. Okay, so also in here I used up from Becca. This is the First Light Priming Filter. This was just like a little sample guy. I want to say this was like a 100 point perk or something. I really, really, really like this primer. Uh, I knew I was getting down on it and I think it was during the 21 Days of Beauty. They had a special with like uh, an actual like travel size. This is like the little, little mini size and they have the travel size and the full size. I picked up the travel size because it's honestly such a nice primer. So I used that one all the way up. Okay, I also have in here a brow pencil. This is from CoverGirl. This is their Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. The shade I used up was Soft Blonde. This is a bomb brow pencil, one of my favorites. I have another one in like a light brown or honey brown or something like that, and I'm probably gonna go through that one very quickly. These are such good brow pencils and very affordable. If you're looking for a good drugstore one, check this out. It reminds me of like the Benefit Precisely My Brow, uh, and CoverGirl has now gone cruelty-free, which is really exciting, so if you are cruelty-free and you're looking for a good affordable brow pencil, I would say check that out. Oh wait, I have another Illuminate uh, sheet mask in there from Pathology. I also have, this is from Selly Klee Skincare. I have a lot of their skincare and I really like them. I don't hear a lot of people talk about them. They're a very expensive skincare brand. I think you can only find them on their website, but they have sent me a lot of products to try out and I've, lot, I've liked a lot of products from them. This is the Luster Refine Ultra Texture Perfecting Treatment Moisturizer. I did use this one all the way up. It smells so good and it's just a really nice moisturizer. Again, a lot of really good products from them and products that I feel like I've seen a difference with. They're just very, very pricey. It says for a normal to oily skin, it's supposed to help with firmness and also with pores. Like I said, I used that all the way up and I really did quite like it. Uh, I clearly also went through my mascara drawer because I have some mascaras in here. This is from Sigma Beauty. This is the Embellish Lash and this is in green. It's called Bang Out, so it was a green mascara. I have had that open for, I'm not kidding, probably at least two years. So it's probably time to say goodbye to that one. Uh, one here from CoverGirl. This is the Peacock Aflare Mascara. This is a newer mascara, but I did not like this mascara at all. I reviewed it on my channel, said that I did not like it, so I'm just getting rid of that one. And then I also have one here from Ardell. This is the Double Up Volumizing Mascara. I pretty much used this all the way up. It did give nice volume. It really didn't do anything for length, but a lot of times, especially if I was wearing like really fluffy false lashes, I would put this on first because it would kind of help blend my real natural hello, my real lashes and the false lashes. So this one's pretty much gone now. Um, it was okay. If you just need volume, that's a good mascara, but I need both. Uh, okay. So I also have in here from Garnier Skin Active. This is the Ultra Lift Miracle Sleeping Cream. I have had this for many, many years. It's just one of those that I needed to get out of my collection. I had probably like around 10 uses left out of this, I would say, but I just don't reach for it enough anymore. If you are looking for good, affordable skincare though, I would say check out the Garnier Skin Active line. I've liked a lot of their products, especially when I was younger and I didn't have as much going on with my skin. Like when I was in college and like right after college, Garnier Skin Active and also Neutrogena, I went with their lines a lot. Now that I'm getting a little bit older, I'm trying to take care more of my skin and you know, not be as afraid to put more money towards my skincare. I've kind of amped it up a little bit, but still a really nice line. And I did really like that uh, sleeping cream. Okay, so I also have in here, this is from Dermalogica. This is kind of messy. This is the Skin Resurfacing Cleanser. I really like this cleanser, but I felt like I went through it so quickly. I really like the special cleansing gel from Dermalogica also, and I felt like that one lasted me forever. But this one was really nice, especially to use in the morning. I really like Dermalogica skincare. You can also find it at Ulta. It says it's a dual action exfoliating cleanser to help retexturize skin. I think that's why I liked it so much, and I used it so consistently. And then I used it all the way up. I really do want another one of these though. Yeah, now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, yeah, I do miss this in my collection. 
yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and plug this on Ulta. So from Dermalogica, the skin resurfacing cleanser is really nice. We're almost to the bottom. So these I'm really excited to talk about. This is from Bliss. It's the That's Incredipeel. It says spa strength glycolic resurfacing pads to smooth and brighten and they each come with like a little pad like this and then um bliss sent over a skincare package and they had a set of them i'll try to find them so i can link them these are so nice they definitely remind me of like the first aid beauty facial peels except these are wickedly intense i would probably since i have sensitive skin i would probably use one a week maybe two if i feel like my skin is really needing it but you can feel the tingling on your skin when you use these, but I really like them. I've been really liking them a lot. This one is from Patchology. This is a blackhead no strip. So Patchology just recently came out with, I think they called it the breakout box or the breakout box. Breakout box? I think it was a breakout box. I can't remember for sure, but they have a couple different items inside. And uh, one of these was the no strips. Now I don't do these a lot. I'm not a big, you know, like the poor strip kind of gal um but i thought it was okay i didn't mind it but i also don't have a lot of blackheads on my nose i used to at one point in life um where i actually like went to the dermatologist and got treatment for them but um since then i haven't really struggled with them so not like a must have repurchase for me uh this in here this is from burberry this is i believe it's a contour stick in medium and it is like completely smashed i don't know what happened to it. i don't want to open it because it's super messy i was trying to clean it up one night to see if i could like still try to reuse it it's like a cream contour and i don't know what happened it's almost like it looks like it exploded inside here which i don't i don't know if that's possible but that's what it looked like and i was trying so hard to clean it up because it's burberry but i just couldn't do it so i was like okay we're just gonna say goodbye um, so I have another mascara in here that I was getting rid of. This is from Sigma. This is a pink mascara. Again, I've just had this open for several years now. Um, there's probably not a lot left in that one, but it just needs to go. Uh, this one is from Peace Out Acne. So those are those 10 acne healing dots. I've been talking about them on and off for a while, um, especially in empties videos because both me and my husband use them. Like spot treatments. So if you have any breakouts, you can put the sticker on it and then you go to sleep. And then when you wake up, you take the sticker off. And for me, it helps um, clear up the acne spot right away. So again, I think Patchology also came out with those in their breakout box. So it's kind of like a new thing happening right now. But yeah, I like those. Uh, and you can also find them at Sephora. Okay, so this is from Nia or Not Into Aging Skincare. This is their Tech Neck Line Smoother. So I was using this for a while and then it's like gone bad or something. I don't know, like it doesn't even look okay anymore and it smells kind of funky. So I'm going to throw it away. Um, but it has like a roller for your neck. So like you would roll on the product and you would smooth it on your neck. You know, your girl's 31. Like I'd be thinking about my neck over here. And so I was really liking it, but it was just like, it was weird. It was just like one day I smelled it. I was like, doesn't smell how it normally smells and then I can actually see the product like it looks different I mean I did have it for a while so I'm not trying to say anything bad but I'm surprised I didn't get through the whole thing because I really use that a lot so next up I have from Dell Organics this is a vitamin C serum I use this all the way up and I used it up a while ago it's like one of the last things in here so I've had it in here for a while but I really like the serum I really like a vitamin C so I use that one up I have a little mini of the Milk Kush Mascara. I use this all the way up. I love the Kush Mascara. I have another deluxe size to use, but I would probably repurchase like a mini of the mascaras, which I think is like $12. Such a good mascara. I love it. Uh, this one I'm just getting rid of. I think I'm just going to pop it in um, someone's like stocking Christmas gift present thing, but it's just a little guy. This is from Cover FX. It's the Custom Enhancer Drops. I just, I don't love these. I'm not a huge liquid highlight kind of girl or a liquid anything kind of girl like I know you can put these under your foundation also if you want a little bit of luminosity it's in the shade moonlight but I just do not get enough use out of these so I'm just gonna go ahead and say bye to it and let someone else give it a try and then I have some more sheet masks from Pageology. I have the hydrate sheet mask that's one of my favorites I need to repurchase these oh I just made a order from Alta and I didn't repurchase these no no, these are the Smart Mud Detox Sheet Masks. This was my last one, and I meant to, I mean, I'm going to order from Ulta again. It's fine, but I just made my Ulta order. Shoot. Yes, I'm going to be repurchasing these. These are my favorite, like, hands down, absolute favorite sheet masks um, because they are, like, a detoxifying sheet mask, and that's one of my favorite things to do. Oh, I'm so bummed about that. I need to, like, rinse out this garbage can. It got really messy this time around. Okay. 
Bummer. Those are great. Obviously. Fantastic. I'm going to repurchase them. Uh, and then from Benefit, this is a mini goof proof pencil. I love the goof proof. It's one of my favorites. I honestly, if you are a fan or if you just go through brow pencils a lot, I don't recommend buying the minis. I, like, yes, they're less expensive, but brow products are fairly easy to go through if you do your brows on a regular basis. And also the mini doesn't have a spoolie. I think this, this one came in like a kit, like Benefit was selling brow kits for a while and I bought one of those. Um, but I wouldn't repurchase a mini, but for the actual goof proof, I love it. But after that, my garbage can is once again empty. Uh, I'll, I try to do my empties every single month, but sometimes I'm just so busy, even though I post at least 26 videos a month, if not 30 a month, uh, sometimes I still cannot fit in everything. But I'm glad to have empties done. I'm going to go rinse out my garbage can so I can start filling it again with my empties and what I'm decluttering. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to know some of your thoughts down below. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go. And I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.